Ganguly to spin it. Tails is the call. It's a head. It's a head. Well, some of you won the toss. What have you decided? We'll have a bad driving. Looks a good track. Yeah, it's a good wicket. Uh, it's going to be hot. Might turn a bit later, so we'll have a bad. Well, Enza Ma'am, uh, you've lost the toss. Uh, disappointed? Yeah, it's, I think it's a good betting track and I think it's, it's good pitch in the um, 100 overs. I think this, but last 50 overs, I think his ball is a little bit grip, is not on the bat, but hopefully it's a good track. The morale of the side very high. Guys are very confident, but I think his test match is different game and Monday is different game. If we win this game, then we really work hard. Now, what's uh, what's your side for today's game? Any new players? Yeah, it's only Hafiz is coming and otherwise same side. And who are you going to open with? Open is Kamran Akmal and uh, Suleiman Bhatt. Well, have a good one, Inzi. Thank you. Well, that's the news from the center. Saurav Ganguly has won the toss in this first one-day game and he's decided to bat first. And you can see the Indian team for today's game. There's no Irfan Pathan. Zaheer Khan comes back in the side. There's no Anil Kumble. Pakistan lineup packed with all-rounders. There you see them at the bottom half. Abdul Razak, Shahid Afridi, Mohammed Afiz, Shweb Malik slotted at number three. He can only bat now, can't bowl. But uh, there's good all round strength in this lineup. India batting first. Miranda Sebab, the man on strike, and Sami for Pakistan. In the air, put down. Sharp chance. Goes to ground. Mohammed Afiz, the fielder. He's the new man in the Pakistan team. There's never a dull moment when this man is on strike, hitting it in the air, and uh, that should have been taken. Mohammed Afiz is uh, the... That's in the air, should be taken. He's misjudged the length. Johanna makes no mistake, that ball just bouncing on him. And Tendulkar getting it high on the bat. He was looking to break free. Pakistan have struck. India have lost their first wicket. Well, 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 what a breakthrough it was Sachin Tendulkar who looked raw and they all stunned. They were expecting great things from the little master not to be carved a lovely boundary through square and then this shot. They'll not be too happy with this shot selection. Ball not very short, he's just come in. Playing across the line was always going to be dubious. In the end, nice easy catch for use of Johanna and Pakistan are away. They've got the big one. India 4 for 1. Saurav Ganguly comes out to the middle. India have lost the wicket of Tendulkar. Vastly experienced the captain. 268 matches, just under 10,000 runs in one-day internationals. The golden! The leg stump has gone for a walk. He's walked across the stumps. Runner Navid hits timber. Two wickets and two balls. The captain departs without tickling the scorers. This is incredible stuff from Pakistan. When things are not going your way, this can happen to you. You find new ways of getting out. His leg stump uprooted. Pushing itself across towards the offside and run and away. What a start for him. Two wickets of two deliveries. Sort of Ganguly gone for naught. India four for two. Team in deep trouble at the moment. It's early on. It comes out with run and a lead on a hat trick. And that's a very good start from uh, run and a lead. Four runs conceded in that over, two wickets taken. It's four for two. That's four. First runs for Seva. And it's a meaty strike on the onside. It's nine for two. That's edge put down. And to add insult to injury, it goes to the boundary as well. So second let off for Virenda Seva. Mohammad Sami can't believe it. It was a good delivery, bouncing on the Indian opener. Second time unlucky. Guarding the ball away, got big on him and uh, not a great effort from Kamran Akmal. Second time has not been taken. There you go. Two boundaries in the over. He was beaten the first two balls. Let off the third one. 
Beautifully put away. Shaping away from him and uh, for a moment I thought it was a pretty good delivery but how well he carved it away. That's shipped in the air. It's all happening here at the Nehru Stadium. Especially with Sehwag on strike. Rahul Dravid has not walked up to within the Sehwag. So he knows what to expect from his partner. Can expect anything. Leading edge, then go to Abdul Razak. Nicely played. Beautiful shot. Chase from Abdul Razak. Beg your pardon, Rashad Khan. But, end way. 32 for 2 India. Behind you. Another 4. But this time a very controlled shot by Sehwag. Billy Bowden says no. The contention here is uh, for Sami, he thinks he's hit the pad first. That's why he had a right for that one. He was on the stretch, Rahul Dravid, and the ball actually wrapped him on the pad. It was a very good shot from Mohammed Sami. Pakistan operating without a slip. And that's a boundary, a costly one. I was hoping Inzamam really would be attacking at this stage. A little, not a lot. And you've gone for four. A hundred comes up for India. Talking about the hit, have a look at that crowd. Nothing on their head. There's no roof. They're baking, but they're, they're enjoying themselves. There you see. He goes for the big one and finds the gap. Only one run away from the 50. Yes, he was lucky, no doubt about it, but really played well. Alongside with the vice captain Rahul Dravid, who for me batted very sensibly for his four runs. It was a chanceless innings. And here, we know Varinda Sarwag is a sort of a player, he's going to go after the ballers and take his chances. Good price one. This is a good over for India. Razak just straying in line and Dravid, he's batted beautifully in this innings. You mentioned Ahmed Chanceless. You've hardly noticed him around, but he's on 48. So 15 now for Rahul Dravid. And a very, very good innings this, because he came in with his side in trouble. But he's handled the situation like uh, we know he can. Seba at his best. What a shot. Easy. Successful in uh, one day internationals for Pakistan. Well, he's decided to take him on. And this is where he's so good, Sehwag. He, he didn't, didn't waste any time in getting the ball in that direction. He goes for the big one. That's out of the ground. Well, that's the beauty about Parinda Sehwag. Once he decides to play a particular stroke, the execution is always brilliant. Look at that one. Premeditated, no doubt about it. But he picked up the length very early and then the execution was superb. Yes, no half measures. Second six for him. And he goes again. This time doesn't get the elevation but finds the boundary all right. Virenda Seva, I mentioned, is looking to take off. Beautiful shot once again, that'll be four. And he gets that boundary very early in the over. There's your one risk for the over. Let's just watch out how, how he plays the next few balls. He's got a boundary of the first ball. And this is not really a risky shot, it's a poor delivery down the leg side. He's just helped that ball on his way to four. There it is, 
He's in the 90s and this is to be expected. Another biggie from Sehwag. You can talk of nothing else, Sanjay, when Sehwag is at the crease. Now take a look at this shot. There is a deep mid-wicket. There's a long on. He hasn't tried to bisect them or get a gap. He's just gone for it wholeheartedly. A lot of running that these two have done. And yet Sehwag is trying. He's coming back for the second. That's well run. It's Rahul Dravid who's struggling and they've asked for the third umpire. The heat has really got to him. But a direct hit may have done it. Otherwise, he's in comfortably. So, Navid Rana has come into both. Sehwag on 99. And he gets 100. What a stunning innings this has been. Virendra Sehwag, 100 not out. He's very happy. He knows it's an achievement, not necessarily the bowling attack or the pitch, but just battling the conditions here. It's extremely hot. And this is his seventh one day international hundred. Great shot. This is a very good shot from Dravid. One bounce into the advertising hoardings. Beautifully played. Yes, indeed, that was an absolute treat to watch. Everything right about it, the follow-through of the blade, the full face of the bat. Just take a look. Absolute delight. He kept the bat straight. All he needed to do was make contact and go over the... They were very sensible. They were looking to score singles. That's a dead ball. And what's happened there? Has he strained something? He's an important member of this Pakistan side. I don't think he's going to bowl a ball. You could see it straight away when his hand uh, went straight to the area and that had tickled him. Bow down. So blistering innings from Berinder Sevag finally comes to an end. It was a tired shot. It was on the cards, but he will get a standing ovation as he leaves this ground. He had a share of luck early on, but make no mistake in between all that. He's played some magnificent shots till this happened. That short break really turning out to be uh, in favor of Pakistan. Both the batsmen, they were in a momentum. And you really see Virinda Sehwag when he decides to hit the ball out of the ground, missing it. Well, he played a tremendous note for India when they were in trouble. So Yuvraj Singh comes out to the middle. Some good overs, nicely played. What timing that was! Four runs to end the over. Two over eight for three. Oh, lovely shot! He's just picked it up, chipped it over the infield. He was struggling to start with, and the Shah had the free. He looked out of sorts. Smashed on the onside. That's hit with tremendous power by Yuvraj Singh. Short delivery. He picked up the length quickly. It wasn't a great delivery, but as a batsman, you had to put it in the gap. Wrenched it away for four. Now Shah Khan starting off with uh, a loose one down the leg side. A wide signal by Billy. Taken. Very good catch. That's a good running catch in the deep. Salman Butt was the fielder chasing it down. And good presence of mind because there was a man from deep midwicket coming across as well. But he shouted loudly, it's mine, and he takes it in the end. Important wicket this for Pakistan. Very important. Yuvraj Singh is a sort of a player who could take the game away from the opposition with a bat in his hand. Good catch from Salman Butt. Kept his eyes on the ball and then picking up the fourth wicket. India 241 for four. Gets that hundred. It's his tenth one day hundred. And he'll remember this one purely because of the physical challenges. There he goes. 
another very satisfied man. Good banner that that really accentuates uh, Dravid's contribution. That's in the air. Shahid Afri, a bit late to react, but he's taken a catch. And it's a good one. It's never easy with the kind of background that you have here in one day matches. And another wicket has fallen. This might just hurt India. Not a lot of things happening for India in the last three or four overs. Not happening in favor of Pakistan. This has been a good comeback. Courtesy their spinners. Good catch by Shahid Afridi. He made sure that he picked it well in the end. Lost it in the background for some time. But he's a good fielder. Mohamed Kaf is walking back after getting to 7 2 55 for 5. Mahendra Singh Dhoni is the next man in. The run rate has come down. Catch taken. Another catch in the deep has been taken. And India have lost another wicket. And I can also add India have lost their way. And another cramp. It's runner Navidul Hassan who's gone down immediately after he caught that one. A very good running catch. Conditions really hurting players here. It's Ashad Khan who got Dhuni playing that lofted shot. And good running catch by runner Navidul Hassan. Made sure that he got uh, it well in his palms and then immediately ask for help. Gone for three is Dhoni. India 260 for six. Yeah, that's a good point to make, Ramiz. Another director is gone. Just given up Dravid. Another brave innings of Dravid comes to an end. But India just losing their way here. Now this ball was played in the direction of the fielder. I think it was Mohammed Sami, probably the fittest athlete out there. Bullseye at this stage of the game, really credit must be given to Sami. Raul Dravid gone after playing a good knock, very good innings. 104, he got India 265 for seven. There he goes, goes for the big shot, only to find his thumbs rattled by a very experienced Arshad Khan, who knows exactly what the batsman is about to do. Brilliant match. He was put away for plenty in his first couple of overs. What a good comeback this has been from Arshad Khan. Now, <laughs> describe uh, that shot. I'm uh, unable to do that. Balaji trying to whack the ball square with a side-on uh, action. It's, he's gone for not India, 269 for eight. Zaheer Khan has walked out. 91 matches for him. He can play some big shots. There he goes, Harbhajan Singh might just find himself caught by Salman Bhatt. Now he was going to lose his balance. What he's done is just uh, got the ball back into play. But the umpires will just check that again. He got right behind the ball, almost caught it, then realized that he wasn't going to be balancing himself well to be inside. I think that's uh, six. from the uh, commentary box next to us, the radio commentators. Nicely struck. Harbhajan Singh is coming back. So the Pakistan innings about to commence. The target 282. They've got 50 overs to get them. Balaji on his way. Kamran Akmal is going to be his partner. First runs for Pakistan. Good solid blow by Salman Bhatt down the ground. First boundary of the innings. And Pakistan on their way. And played with authenticity. Balaji looking to pitch the ball up to the batsman. Looking for a bit of swing in the air. In the gap, very risky second boundary for Salman Bhatt. That was a better one. Hitting the ball on the up. Just opening the face of the bat at the last moment and played it beautifully. 
know, he's not quite timed it, but this is a quick outfield. The ball will still reach the boundary. That's all what Pakistan wanted at this stage. Keep getting the boundaries, keep putting the pressure on the bowlers. It's kind of flat out there for the Indians. Oh, that's a good shot again, just standing up tall and punching it through the offside. Again, a tease for the field, again the ball wins. So the boundary is coming thick and fast for the left-hander. Already four boundaries for Salman, but that is a lovely shot. No need to run for that. With an offer, the placement spot on from uh, Akmal. It's gone through. That will reach the boundary. Saro Ganguly was very close at that uh, short point. And he just gets his hands to it. And goes into the gap as well. Have a look at the reaction of uh, Mohammed Kaf. He was just standing very relaxed. Red! That's true. Uh, that's something India can ill afford. Poor fielding will give Kamran a well boundary. Moment. That's in the air again, pass short point. That went to the boundary in a flash. Ganguly is the fielder in the firing line once again. I don't think he had time even to react. The first one, he at least got a hand to it. Have a look at this. I think he's gone the other way. Rather than going uh, in the direction of the ball. I think uh, you need a man there with very good reflexes. And it's taken. Brilliantly done at point. Good reflex catch. And it's Virinda Sehwag who has picked a very, very sharp catch. So that move playing off. Saurav Ganguly replacing himself and putting Virinda Sehwag and he made it look extremely easy. Just the break India needed. This is a blinder. And like his batting, makes catching also look so easy. First wicket down, chance for India to come back, Pakistan 45 for 1. Shreb Malik is the new batsman in, very handy cricketer, is uh, coming to replace Kamran Akmal who uh, hit this one extremely hard but what a catch, neat catch, brilliant reflexes, made it look extremely easy. gone over the top not an auspicious start from Shweb Malik but he'll take that boundary what a way to get off the mark this is modern day cricket doesn't matter where it comes see the belligerence with Shweb Malik he's yet to get off the mark attempted almost audacious shot there catch it is the call and he's got it what a wicket Ashish Nera has struck too late really to think about that shot now it's Saurav Ganguly who's picked up a good catch. And India have been able to get rid of a well-settled Salman but Just as at last for Ganguly, the ball was following him. He wasn't uh, catching those, but this is a very good catch. Good reach by the skipper and Ashish Nehra has uh, struck on his comeback. Second wicket. Pakistan 49 for two. Pick player. It's in the air and gone. Another rash shot. And Pakistan's slump continued. It's Shweb Malik who's perished. Happy Indian faces, happy Indian team. It's the most predictable aspect of India Pakistan cricket. It's unpredictable nature. Three wickets down. Pakistan were on top of the Indians. And they've lost three in a rush. And Indians will make this count. 49 for three, Pakistan. No siesta for Inzama Malak. He's out there in a jiffy. He's telling himself exactly that. Don't underestimate the bowler. He's found the gap. He is uh, flowing very nicely in this short stint. 
This is beautifully timed and placed. So finally, he gets the boundary in Zaman. He was on the drive three times this over. Couldn't pierce the field. 64 for three. Now Zahir. Is that taken? He goes up. That's a brilliant catch. That is an absolutely stunning catch. If ever there was one. Zahir Khan reacting on his follow through. This is quite unbelievable. Coming back in another fresh spell. First ball of that spell. Just take a look at this. And it's to his wrong hand. It's to his right hand. What a take. Amazing. Awesome. What a wicket. Pakistan really pegged back now. They've lost their fourth for 64. Johanna gone for zero. 494 runs are still inexperienced at the highest level. Takes the single. It's happened in the last 10 overs. Four wickets, 26 runs. Just the four boundaries. He's got it in the gap, and that's four. Disdainfully done. Touch of arrogance in that shot. A good shot. What a way to get off the mark. And again, a pin drop silence. Six, 76 for four. The big pull shot of a long hop for four. And it's 80 for four. Oh, looking for a big one. So he understands the importance of run rate in Zimbabwe. And that single also gives Pakistan the 100. He's gone, gone for the big one. He's cleared it. That's a six. It's come off the pieces back. Should provide a little bit of relief to Inzamamala. Also, they know that the fifth bowler is there for the taking. Oh, has he bowled him? Has he got the magic wicket? They feel he has. Inzamam is not sure, but I suspect he's got to walk back. This is a big wicket for Sachin Tendulkar. Quicker one in Zamamulak is still asking the umpires and I think they'll confer it with the third umpire but I think it's good it's for in Zamamulak. That ball seems to have hit the wicket first. Mohammed Afiz is asking his captain to uh, stay put. Quicker one from Sachin Tendulkar. And yes, clip the top of the bail. That's good enough for India, it's good enough for Sachin. And I suspect Pakistan are now in big, big trouble. It's 112 for 5. Inzamam is back for 37. Abdul Razak is a good striker of the ball. Average is 30. He's gone for the big one. He's connected well. That's another 6. Mighty blow from Mohamed Afiz. Well caught there, sir. That is a big hit. That is almost 100 yards. He's got it with a rank loose delivery. Would you believe it? He strikes gold with a useless ball. <laughs> well, he'll take it. But he's varying it so much in flight. He's bowling off spinners, faster ones. But take a look at this. Let's spin outside the leg stump, full toss. And he top edges it straight into that fielder's hand at short find. Like Sevak takes it with ease. Pakistan have lost their sixth. Sachin has a second. Take a look at that for reaction. Well done. Two wickets to Tendulkar. Pakistan now 129 for six. That's his one day international career, an average of just 24, but a strike rate of 105.4. Three hundreds there, mind you, so far. He finds the gap this time. What do they call it? Uh, a commentator's curse. What an amazing average as well, 16.29. Catch it! Catch it is the call. Zahir Khan will steady himself and he catches it well in the end. Third wicket for Sachin Tendulkar. This was always on the cards. Shahid Afridi hitting against the spin, taking a lot of risk. 
Oh, he's such a clever bowler. Such a clever cricketer. He knew it was desperate, desperation times for the Pakistanis. Started bowling his leg breaks into the rough. They had to go for it. Can't control it. And eventually a good take by Zaheer Khan. So, free the gone for eight. Pakistan now staring defeat in the face. 146 for seven. wicket for Tendulkar. He's having another dream run here in Cochin. Boy, he loves those wickets. He's always aspired to be an all-rounder, Tendulkar. And today he has the right to call himself one. Well, you look at his record in one-day cricket. He's got over 100 wickets. He's enjoying it. Up there in the rough. Hit me if you can. Thank you very much. Number four. Pakistan looking down the barrel now, just uh, two wickets to claim for India, 1-5-1 one, one for 8. Rana Naveed is the next man in, he's a tenacious batsman. Interesting appeal from Tony. And that could be his fifth wicket, can you believe it? Yes it is! In fact, he's been lifted by the teammates, almost. Five-wicket haul once again at Cochin for Tendu Bay. Something about grounds. It's a lucky ground for him with the ball. Not so much with the bat, but he's uh, played a match-winning hand here. Five wickets is as good as 100 in terms of a bowler. And remember, he has only 10 overs. Doesn't often happen you get five wickets. It doesn't matter what delivery it was, he'll take those five. Uh, it's transformed the game. There's only one team playing there at the moment, and that's India. Hafiz departs for 42. 152 for nine. Last man in, Arshad Khan. Tendulkar has picked up five wickets. This is his last over. Or something like that. But this has been punched to the extra cover boundary for four. That's a good firm hit. That will not be stopped. That will also go for four. So boundary to end the over. Ten from it. 162 for nine. Take a look at that for a weakling. Five for 50. Really used his mind for the game very intelligently. That is a good hit. That will go for four. That is a good, firm, solid hit. That's much better. That's gone. That's gone the distance. Billy Bowden will signal a six. That's a good hit. Previous one not coming off. A replay by the other batsman, Ranan Abid. That really... Sort of Ganguly would really be a happy man today. He's bowled in, he's cleaned him up. And with that, it's victory to India in the first match of this Pepsi series. They win by 87 runs and uh, Saurav Ganguly can now sleep quite easily. It was uh, Zaid Khan who hit the bullseye. Rana Naveed missing the ball. Zaid Khan has been on target generally throughout this innings. He bowled really well. And in the end, a very fine victory.